couple housekeeping items before this video gets started. Uh, number one, any ad rev on this will be donated. Uh, number two is that this video is going to be me kind of sharing my thoughts and what I think is right for this situation. And there's going to be a video that Austin made that I'm going to share in this, and I'm also going to read through uh, the article regarding this situation for people that are not caught up on this situation. So with that being said, let's get into this video. So uh, what I want to talk about is the recent article that came out on this situation uh, from the Daily Herald. It says, skateboarder Terry Kennedy gets five years in prison for battery that led to Wheaton Man's death. And I'm going to share my commentary on this after I read through the article. But right here it reads, Professional skateboarder and television personality Terry Kennedy has been sentenced to five years in prison for an attack that fatally injured a Wheaton man. DuPage County Judge Michael W. Reedy sentenced Kennedy on Tuesday. Oh my God, the lighting got so bad. Reedy found Kennedy guilty of aggravated battery in December, but acquitted him of first-degree murder. Kennedy, Long Beach, California, appeared on several MTV shows and some skateboarding video games and a music video for Snoop Dogg's Drop It Like a Hot Song. He co-founded the Fly Society clothing and music brand. He was visiting his girlfriend in Wheaton in the summer of 2021. He became friends with Josiah Kazahoon of Wheaton, a fan who recognized Kennedy when Kennedy was out skateboarding one day. When Kennedy was to return to California on July 27, 2021, he, his girlfriend, and Kazahoon spent a night at a hotel in Oak Brook Terrace when Kazahoon and the girlfriend were drinking that night and early the next day. In the morning, the girlfriend and Kennedy argued when she told him she was unfit to drive into the airport and suggested he take an Uber. Kazahoon told Kennedy to calm down Kennedy and Kazahoon got out of the car, and Kennedy punched Kazahoon in the face. Kazahoon fell to the ground, hitting his head in the pavement. The girl told police Kennedy then kicked him. But during the trial, she said she was not sure about that. Kazahoon suffered internal injuries, a fractured skull, broken eye socket, and bleeding in his brain. He underwent emergency brain surgery, but died four days later. Also on Tuesday, Kennedy pleaded guilty to one count of threatening a public official and was sentenced to five years in prison on that charge. While being detained by Wheaton police on July 28, 2021, Kennedy threatened a police officer nine times, including referring to the murder of a police officer in Whittier, California. Kennedy must serve at least 50% of each sentence before being eligible for parole. He received credit for more than one and a half years he has spent in jail awaiting trial and sentencing. That's all that this article has to share. Now, as far as my commentary on this, I think that does not do justice, obviously. Uh, and he's now down to the point of, you know, with credits and whatever else that is, that there's even, like, less time now, which might be something as short as, like, a year and a half, which is ultimately a perfect example of how corrupt our system is and five years does not do justice for the amount of pain that has caused, obviously, his family and, you know, uh, the community around us of which, you know, people that he skated around, including not only myself, but everyone else that he skated with. And he made a, you know, to share some of my own thoughts on this, Josiah made a huge impact on, like, each and every one of us. I mean, I can go person to person in our community and ask about him. And they'll tell you the exact same thing. They'll tell you what a, you know, positive, uh, you know, just great person that he was. If you're having a bad day, he's always there to cheer you up. Uh, you know, there's never like a dull moment with him. And I feel like you hear people talk about that all the time uh, when someone passed away. But he truly was like a very unique person in that, in th in that respect. And uh, me personally, I kind of ended up getting closer with Josiah uh, about mm, the last couple of years before he passed away. And, uh, him and I actually made an edit on my channel where he was doing a firing line. And, uh, I've already talked about that at ad nauseum, but basically he was, uh, all on board with this like random idea I had. And it was a fun video to make. You can go check that video out on my channel if you want. Yeah. He just, you know, he brought a lot of light to our community and it's unfortunate that our system is so corrupt that he can't. Terry Kennedy does not get a life sentence for murdering someone. There's the problem at hand right now is that, and you know, I, I wasn't in the court, so I don't have the exact reason, but I have, you know, assumptions as to what went wrong here. And one of those assumptions is having a defense lawyer and also having money. Uh, in this country, money unfortunately speaks louder than humans do. 
And once money gets involved and you get the right words out, then uh, things like being in jail for less than five years for murdering someone uh, can unfortunately happen, which is the sad reality. And I think that's a law that needs to be changed, you know, regardless if it was your intentions or not. Um, you know, Josiah is still not with us anymore at the end of the day. And the kind of pain this has caused is like unimaginable. And so with that said, uh, Austin Day Piano put up a post the other day on Instagram. I want to read real quickly. He said, PSA, was going to wait, but with the recent developments, decided to speak out about this now. First off, I would like to thank everyone who donated, showed up, supported each other. And anyway, through all this, thank you, Hunter, for handling the GoFundMe. The money was raised enough to have a memorial installed at Newton Park with two trees alongside planted. Unveiling details coming soon. All be invited. The rest of the money was donated to St. Jude's Children's Hospital in Josiah's name. Although I'd love nothing more for Josiah's legacy to be left as a positive one, I have trouble describing and coping with how much pain has rippled across loved ones after the tragic loss of Josiah's life. A sentencing of five years in front of these big chances of even less, as I mentioned, uh, is not even close to the years of pain TK has caused and countless. Remember to love those around you until we meet again. And I'll play the video that he's provided along with some other information. So without further ado, let's play it. Look at that. This is this moment right here is literally the most perfect Josiah moment I can think of. Like, I've watched that dude get so hyped on like stuff that I don't think anyone else would be like that hyped on. Do you know what I mean? Like, he found little important things to be just like so hyped about, and it got everyone else like hyped. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't see anyone else getting up or going crazy after that. Look, and he was the one to get up. So, something I missed. Let's continue. <laughs> And then there's a couple other posts on this I want to share, but real quickly, you could see how like dangerous and how crazy some of these spots where he was skating. Like me growing up, I've not always been the best skater, but I would see clips of Josiah and watch him doing insane stuff. I'm like, all right, dude, get off your butt, go skate, like go try something new. Cause I was like, if you know, seeing him do this kind of thing was like inspirational to me. And I'm sure it inspired other people to like try a little bit harder and do something that's out of their comfort zone. You saw him going for literally anything, and that doesn't even make up for, uh, you know, all the clips in his part where he, you know, you saw him fall and hurt himself and get right back up like nothing happened. And that was also another huge inspiration. But let's look at these other posts. Uh, so here's a photo of him Hunter took, and then right here's a the memorial. So uh, has the bat on him. And the photo says, With an infectious smile, compassion, fearless leadership, and enthusiasm for life, you brought together the skateboard community like no one has before. This monument sits beside the immeasurable amounts of memories that created not only bonds but brotherhoods. Each person who crossed paths with you will carry on with the positive light you left with them. A part of you will live on through each one of us. Fly high. We love you, Saya. And then let's look at this next one. So here's a picture of the uh, here's a picture of the monument, and then. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of all I wanted to share, and I kind of just wanted to use my platform on YouTube to kind of stick up for what I believe is right. And honestly, I think that TK should be sitting in life, if not a sentence that's like well beyond the male life expectancy, because uh, you know the it's a li life lasting pain for not only his family but uh, everyone else around him, friends, and just everyone in general. It's a really, really extremely hurtful situation. And what kind of sucks is that YouTube is unfortunately a platform where 
Uh, you'll find people that will be talking about free TK, which every time I read one, I want to claw my eyeballs out. So hope that no one comments that. Please do not comment that. Um, I'd appreciate that. And I hope this video gets shared to whoever can help make a difference. And, you know, I, I don't know if it's even possible that he could sit longer with, you know, people speaking up on it. I don't, I don't know how that all works. I'm not smart enough for that. But if anyone knows anything that could help this situation out or better situations like this in the future to create a better law or a better system around this, uh, speak up in the comments or share it with the right person. I'd greatly appreciate that. And um, yeah, I just, I know it's a serious video, but just kind of wanted to use my platform for that. So uh, yeah, hope, you know, I guess hashtag justice for Josiah. And with that, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.